Let's get more from the number one ranked analyst on Google Shares. And joining us on the line from St. Louis, Missouri, is Andy Meindler, who's a technology analyst at Edward Jones. And not only is Andy the top analyst for Google, but also for the entire sector as tracked by the Bloomberg terminal. Okay, Andy, let's talk about these uh, figures coming out of Google. I mean, it came in slightly above estimates, but some are still calling this a miss. I mean, would you call this a disappointment? Um, the a slight, possibly a slight disappointment. Overall, the numbers were strong. You know, we have earnings up over 30 percent, which is certainly, uh, you know, what we consider quite strong. However, shares have been uh, strong in the last uh, few days, up about 5 percent, and they're giving a little bit of that back as investors have come to expect Google not just to beat estimates, but to more wildly beat estimates. So for uh, Google to come in slightly ahead of estimates today, you know, might leave a, a few investors uh, wanting more. Okay, well, let me ask you about the, the Google saga in China. As Dom mentioned, maybe it's not that much of a factor considering it happened so long ago, they said. But, uh, you know, what about going forward? Some are saying, yeah, you have a 30% market share in the world's biggest Internet market, which isn't huge. But looking ahead and, and for the future, isn't this going to just be a huge loss of investment? Um, we do think it, it could limit. A slight growth for the company, but we have to keep in mind China is likely only a one to two percent of overall revenue at Google. So the true monetary impact is small, we would say, at Google. Mm -hmm. However, it, you know, it, it, it uh, investors come to question what is the long-term growth if you're basically giving up a portion of your growth because you're not going to have as dominant of a presence in Google. What investors really, or in China, what investors really want to see from Google of, is what's the next act. We know they're the search leader and will continue to be the search leader, but uh, investors want to see the next leg of growth, whether that's from display advertising, mobile advertising. So that's really what we think will uh, you know, propel shares higher further is showing that they have an act beyond search. Yeah, that's a very good question, Andy. What exactly is the next act? We have uh, Google saying in its analyst conference called that the Nexus One has some good uptake. It's also looking at MySpace and News Corp's uh, business as well to, to gain in the future. But uh, how do you see things? Well, search will continue to be the uh, lion's share of the, the profits for the company for a very long time, just given how big that business is. But we think they can make nice inroads, whether it's the mobile handset market with the Nexus One, if they uh, open up the distribution of that over time. In addition, the display advertising market through their DoubleClick acquisition has given them an opportunity to participate more broadly in this. In addition, mobile advertising um, has a lot of growth prospects, but it's still in its infancy. You know. Mm -hmm. There's no true mobile leader now, and over time, uh, we think Google has an opportunity to significantly participate here. So there's things on the horizon. It just takes time, and investors want to okay. see them uh, making continual progress. Andy, are you maintaining your aggressive buy call on these shares? And tell me about target price. We're looking at 569 right now in after hours. Yes, we do. We're maintaining our buy rating with aggressive suitability, and you know we don't. Uh, Edward Jones did offer target prices, given it's a awful, often short-term in nature versus our long-term investment philosophy. But where shares are trading now, we think they're certainly attractively priced, given the long-term growth that we expect out of uh, internet advertising, with just a continued switch year after year to more advertisers going online. All right, Andy, thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, Andy Meindler, who uh, joins us on the line there from St. Louis, Missouri, who works for Edward Jones. Thank you for that.